Hey hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buddha and I'm going to react today on Blonde that is going to Ginger. Yes, for 2020 it is back in fashion to do copper or ginger color. Uh, but if you do it with a box dye, you can get a big surprise. You cannot do it with just a box dye because it can go wrong very badly. It can be too uh, orange on the scalp, for example, and the length can be uneven or uh, it can be so bright orange. Uh, so you have to pre-color it if you want to go from blonde to ginger or from blonde to brown. You have to pre-color it, so you have to put pigments inside before coloring. That's a technique we do in the salon, uh, but if you do it with box dye, um, this is going to be not good. We're going step by step and I'm going to give my opinion and my advice what has gone wrong and how to prevent that you're making the same mistake as she is. Okay, so let's go and react from blonde to ginger. So the channel that we're visiting is uh, from Mackenzie Richard. So go to her YouTube channel and subscribe to her channel, follow her. We have to support all these creators uh, that I'm uh, reacting on. The title is my first experience with overtone, uh, going from blonde to ginger. Okay? Okay, so let me turn on. That helps a little bit. So my kids are getting ready to go to bed. And we are about to dive into the wonderful world of overtone. Um, I ordered this kit, and this is to make your hair ginger. This is the overtone coloring conditioner, and I again ordered mine in the shade Ginger. I don't know that brand, Overtone. It's the first time I see it. Is it something just in the US? Uh, I over in the UK. I don't know where she's from. Overtone. I don't know it. It was uh, ordered online because in quarantine now you have to order everything online. So here's the small bottle and the large bottle. So it came with those three products. So let's read what this is. <clears throat> Vegan, cruelty-free, free of salt, baits, parabens, and ammonia, suitable for all hair types. Make the color and conditioner that does the most. Used to apply initial color, refresh faded looks, or as often as hair demands a direction. Using gloves, apply evenly to dry hair, wait 10 to 15 minutes, and rinse thoroughly with warm or hot water. Use weekly to keep color fresh. That's literally all it says. And then here's the list of ingredients, 12-month lifespan. Oh, my gosh. Oh, now I see. Is it... Uh color conditioner i believe it's a conditioner that maintains your hair but also the conditioner is also ginger or copper color it's not a box dye it's a conditioner that is going to color your hair protection on the scalp that's very important because copper and ginger red blue every bright color can make a big stain on your scalp you can also put a moisturizing cream. First of all, a color conditioner is not meant for coloring your hair from blonde to ginger. A color conditioner is meant to maintain your color. You have them in brown, red, copper, uh, silver. Many, many uh, people using silver because of that gray fashion blonde color. Um, you have them in uh, yellow for the gold pigments. Uh, you have them black. Nearly every color you have in color conditioner, also in shampoo. But a color conditioner is to maintain your color after you colored it, if you color your hair red or copper, it fades. Especially a red co color is fading very fast and the silver ones. The thing is for the color conditioner is to restore or rebuild your color that has been colored to. 
You understand? So it's colored in red, it fades, so you put a color conditioner red on top of your hair, you're protecting your hair, you're giving shine, and you rebuild your color. It's not meant to color your hair. So it's completely over her hair now. Yes, it stains. You have to be careful with your hands, with your arms, especially your scalp in the front. So you see what is just happening, uh, she applied the color conditioner but even if, if it's a color and you color it from blonde to copper, you have to color in two tones. First of all you have to pre-pigment, like I said before, pre-pigmentation, that's very important, that's putting some pigments inside your hair before you color it, otherwise if you go from blonde to copper it will be very bright. Second of all, you have to color the regrowth a little bit darker. Otherwise, you have a very, very, very bright copper color or red copper or red. Uh, that's the same. You cannot have a bright color on the regrowth. That's really, really ugly. You have to do it in two colors. On the regrowth, it's a little bit darker and the length, it can be very bright. That's always the most beautiful thing to do. If you put it in one color, the regrowth will be so bright, it's, it's ugly. It's really, really ugly. So, it is the next day. Here's what my hair looks like. Look at that roots. The roots are yellow. It's not ginger, it's not copper. It's really, really ugly yellow. That's because, first of all, it's a conditioner, a toning conditioner. Uh, and second of all, the regrowth has to be darker. That's, that's what I meant with it's gonna be ugly on the regrowth. That's really ugly. On the length, I have to see it for, um, for a longer period or maybe in real life. But the lengths are okay, I think. It's, it's ginger, it's copper, but the regrowth, it's so bad. It's not bad by any means, but it's definitely not as body red as when I first did it. So it's not possible. Either tonight or tomorrow. See, like, look. Can you see the difference in how vibrant that is versus this? So I think I am gonna go back in, do my roots with more of the conditioner, and let that set a little bit longer. Because I did start on my ends more and they sat longer. mainly on my roots and I let it sit for quite a while so my final thoughts on this hair overtone is that it obviously works um, it did stain my hand which you can't really tell on camera it definitely stained my bathtub that was one of the big things so I could imagine what it would stain with one of the more vibrant potent colors so be aware of that um, I do feel like it didn't necessarily take as well to my roots as I would like it definitely stuck more so to wherever I had highlights already from the last time I got it blonde but when you compare my roots to like the end of my hair I feel like there's a large contrast but that's okay and I did use the um like see you can tell right there like see a highlight compared to my actual like kind of natural hair color that I've done out so you see what is going to happen if you put a color conditioner straight on your hair and there are different tones that's normal because it was highlighted and if it's highlighted the one section the one hair that is highlighted is more absorbing the pigment than the sections that are not highlighted she mentioned it it was a test because she didn't want to color her hair and it's not staying uh, in your hair she's going to be surprised how long these pigments are going to stay in her hair these are direct pigments all the pigments of crazy colors and color conditioners are direct pigments. What are direct pigments? Direct pigments 
are not going deep in your hair. It's going to stay around your hair into the cuticle. And what, ha what is happening, if you want to color or bleach your hair after using this, these pigments are not fading or not going away. They grow. So it will be very bright if you put an oxidation color on your hair. So direct pigments are very dangerous. Uh, you have to know that they are completely gone if you want to color it. It will stay longer than she thinks. It will not fade to blonde anymore. Your blonde will be a light ginger. Even after 10 washes, 20 washes, it will not fade completely out. That's not possible. Think before you do that. Uh, if you are blonde and you use a red or a copper, it will not fade. If you use a silver, that will be different because the silver will fade more easily. But a copper or a red one will stay very long in your hair and it will be very difficult to take it out. This is not possible to have a nice result on just bleached hair or just blonde hair with highlights because you cannot do the regrowth in a darker color. You have to do it in a darker color otherwise it's really ugly. I think this is ugly because the, the regrowth is really yellow. The lengths were fine and it, the, 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 the shades that are inside, I like it very much. It's really nice, but the regrowth has to be a little darker. So this is my advice after watching this video. A color conditioner is for rebuilding your hair after you colored it in red or in copper or in silver or in any other color. It's just rebuilding itself. And if you are still using it on blonde, you have to do the regrowth darker. Okay, so uh, did you like this reaction video? Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and uh, I see you next time. And stay safe in these uh, quarantine times, in these corona times. And I would say, if you mess with your hair, send the link to me and I can react to it. Or maybe you will be in my hair fail compilation. For now, I'm just saying, chokers! <laughs>